Research shows that speeding and weather are often factors in crashes on rural roadways. A recent project conducted by the Texas A&M Transportation Institute has closely analyzed current crash prediction methods and the data that supports them. From the recommended model enhancements, researchers developed an interactive, real-time, web-based tool to be used for safety prediction and improvements on these rural roadways. A lot of the situations that we as safety engineers around the state, within the district, we have a lot of tools that we use to look at particular sections of roadway or particular areas on our network that you know, need to be identified for additional safety improvements. We have the high safety manual and Texas based model that does not have operational measures such as uh, speed and weather information in the model. So this particular project, we added these two variable in the model and also we developed a decision support tool that provide us information on the risk area so that DOT can take care. This tool is kind of like a dashboard or network screening to give us an idea using those two variables of where to look at places to identify additional safety needs. It developed an interactive tool that is really easy to use, user-friendly. It's web-based, so you don't need additional software. Um, and it's going to be tremendously beneficial just in that aspect alone. And it helps to drag down the area where you need more uh, kind of improvement and where we need to take care of it. So for example, if we take a look at the tool, it has several drop down panels and if we can select districts, we can select a county uh, from a district and we can also select the facility type. And from there, we can select whether which type of crash we are interested, either we are interested in the total crash or maybe severe and fatal crashes or no injury or PDO crashes. So when we select everything and then refresh the map, then it will generate an interactive map in the heat map format. And also it will produce the precise data set associated with it so that we can also download the data. So the couple of the next steps are to incorporate the most current data, real-time data, um, weather, speeds, crash data, volumes, and all of that that is used. And then the next step um, would be rolling it out to districts and providing them the ability to get on this tool and use it, um, give them a little bit of assistance if they need it. It's really user friendly, but um, be there to, to support them in that, in the use of this tool. And then lastly, um, it would, our goal would be to get a similar tool to be used for urban facilities in the state of Texas. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.